Hello everyone, welcome to the Pi staff. Whether you've just joined this year or are a dedicated member, you probably know by now that this organization is big. We have over 100 members and over 30 active projects, many of which go hand in hand. So how do we possibly stay organized? Meet Trello. Trello is simple, a simple website with different levels of organizations to keep track of what you're working on, what you need to work on, as well as what other members and projects are doing. It's a powerful tool for collaboration. To get to the site, just type in pioneers.berkeley.edu slash Trello, or just Google Trello. I highly recommend bookmarking this page because you'll be visiting here often. Now, log in using Google accounts with your pioneers.berkeley.edu page. Everyone should have an account by now. Now, this is your main page, uh, Trello main page. You can always access it from the icon on the top left corner. We'll come back to this page later, but for now, let's go to the overview page for Pi Pioneers in Engineering. This is the Pi page, where you can see all the members in Pi, as well as who's online, offline, or idle on Trello. Now, if you scroll down, you'll see a, a list of all the boards, which represent all the projects in Pi, like there's one for Fall Prep Decal, Control System Next, and Pi Tooling. Now, for every project in Pi, there will be a board for it. Now, let's look at one board, Pick and Place. This is a board. It seems cluttered, but it's actually well organized. First, there are multiple lists like to do list, doing list, and a done list. And within each list, there are different cards which breaks down the projects into smaller, manageable parts. This is where all the actual project and collaboration magic happens. If you open up the sidebar, or it should be open by default, you can see a list of members on the board with special icons for like the admins, as well as recent activities or changes made to the board. Now, to be able to edit on this board, you'll need to be invited to be a member, so you'll eventually be joining boards of the projects that you'll be working in. Since I'm not a member of this project, I'm going to move to a different board where I can create a card so I can explain more about them. You can access all your boards from the icon on the top right. As I said before, cards allow projects to be broken into smaller parts. You can just add a new card from the button on the bottom to suggest new ideas or problems that arise. Once cards are created, you can drag them from list to list, and if you want to view more information about a card, just click on it to open up a new window. Cards can have descriptions, colored labels, due dates, checklists, very handy, and also just attach any kind of files, uh, JPEG, a PDF, from all these action buttons on the right. And you can also assign members of the board to a particular card so that you know who's working on what. And there's a comment section at the very bottom where you can use a at, at sign to tag uh, members of the board so that they get a notification. And you can also subscribe to cards, even on the cards of projects that you're not a member of, so that you can keep uh, updated on other projects. And you are automatically subscribed to the cards that you're uh, assigned to. And all these notifications go up here at the top right. Even when you don't have the card opened up, you can see the small icons that represent the features of the card and also edit them from the options arrow on the right, just like this. Or you can use the handy shortcuts to add members, subscribe, change due dates, or also add labels. These things just makes uh, handling a bit easier. Some other useful features include a calendar right here that shows the list of all the due dates of the different cards, as well as a filter feature on the sidebar from the right, where you can just filter special, specific uh, keywords, or also filter cards that are, you're assigned to, or a particular member is assigned to. Now, let's go back to the Pi main page. You have three special boards labeled zero active products, one open staff positions, two proposed products. Ignore the numbers for now, since they're just there to bring these three important boards to the top of the alphabet boards. And some of these boards are special in that they have the cards here have a link to a board. So, if, for example, if you look, there's a card named Pick and Place, which is on its own a different project or a board. So you can find a link to that project. Now, it sounds a bit confusing, but pretty much these boards are here so that you can have a place to put uh, all the projects in one place. 
Now, that's about it for now. Hopefully, it wasn't too bad. Make sure to use Trello to your advantage to keep your own projects organized, as well as to communicate with other projects that you need to collaborate with. Welcome to Pi once again.